What's going on guys? Today I'm going to give you my top five standing mowers, okay? Now, this this comes out of just, you know, experience with the standers. Now, you know, some of these I've never ran before, but just my in my thought that would be the top five mowers that I, I would go out and purchase tomorrow, okay? Starting at number five. Okay, number five is going to be the Ferris Z1 and Z2. Now, what I like about the Ferris is I like I like the standers that you kind of you stand you kind of tuck into them. Uh, you stand in between the tires. You don't have the deck that folds down and you're standing on the back of it because it's physics, guys. When you when you stand on the back of that thing, you you take a lot of the weight off the front of it. So that was one of the things that I looked into. Now a couple of these on here, they have the the deck that folds down, and you know there's some pros and cons to it. Being able to flip the deck up, you're, it's easier to walk behind it uh, that way. So the Ferris Z1 and Z2. The some of the things I don't like about the Ferrises is, and I'm just being truthful, guys. The metal is in the deck is really thin now it's a really good deal they they they're priced just right uh you know these other ones guys they're they're priced up there they're just as much as a as a daggum zero turn but i like the maneuverability with a stander i feel a lot more safer on them on a on a slope uh i hear some of the you know some people talk about how they don't hold a hill for for crap uh i don't really necessarily think that's that's true i mean i don't i don't feel like they hold a hill better than a zero turn they definitely don't hold a hill better than a walk behind but you know i i feel like the the it's about the same uh you know the ferris is 900 and some odd pounds i mean it's a pig for for no bigger you know such a compact uh package that it comes in it's pretty heavy uh but i'm gonna go into my number four and that is the Hustler Super Z, or Super S. Sorry, Super S. It's a standard. Uh, that mower really appeals to me. It really sucks because when me and Chase went after the Ferris, uh, <laughs> we I had no idea that Hustler made a standard. And if we probably would have known that, we probably would have ended up with a Hustler. But uh, that's my number four go-to. Uh, and the reason why we didn't go after the ones in the higher list is because of pricing. Uh, you know, the other ones are anywhere from nine to twelve thousand, or well, ten to twelve thousand dollars, I should say. Uh, so now number four, I'm sorry, number number three is going to be the X Mark Vantage. I love X Mark guys. I love the quality of cut that X Mark lays. They lay amazing stripes. And all these other ones do too. Don't don't get that you know messed up. They, everybody puts so much time and effort into their striping and how well their mowers stripe. The Ferris actually comes with a striping kit on the back of it. There's a, a piece of rubber, real thick piece of rubber that hangs down probably a good two and a half inches or so below the deck. So it kind of gives that initial push. So I mean the, the Ferris does stripe very well. Uh on yards that's you know that has good grass and stuff uh i mean hell i've even we've even striped up some pretty weeded up yards with clover and chickweed and all that stuff and dallas grass so i mean it does lay some some fairly good stripes and you can lay a nice quality cut it does cut really good until you get into some wetter grass it doesn't doesn't do very well when the grass is wet and i'm talking about not just downpour rain just that nice dew that you know that's that's got the grass getting wet in the mornings it doesn't do very well in that <clears throat> and i'm just honest guys even though we have a ferris i'm not oh my god you got to get a ferris it's the best mower ever a lot of people do that uh you know they run out and buy a eight thousand nine thousand dollar machine and then all of a sudden it's the best thing that they've ever owned uh, I'm not like that. I'm probably the most unbiased person you ever met. Uh, and, <clears throat> you know, same way with steel. I was in, we were in the market for a backpack blower. You know, we looked at steel blowers, Red Maxes, Echoes, uh, Husqvarna's. Uh, we went with Echo, you know, and I'll get it. That, that's a future video. But anyways, uh, number two, our number two is going to be the Toro. 
the Toro Grandstand. Uh, you guys can go on there. I usually reel in pictures on these and stuff, but you know, you guys can look these up, and I'm sure you guys have seen them before. But the Toro Grandstand, like I said, I'm a firm believer in Toro and X Mark. They're fantastic mowers. Guys, you've seen me run that that X Mark, uh, the Laser Z that I have, the 60 inch cut uh, that we have, I should say. Uh, you know, it's a great mower. Guys, I've put close to 2,000 hours on this machine and literally the only thing that I have done to it is put blades on it and a PTO clutch. That is it, well, and a, uh, uh, crap, I can't even, a rectifier. Uh, other than that, guys, that's it. That's the only thing I have ever done to that mower. It's been an outstanding mower. Xmark has a great product. I love Xmark. If we go out and buy another mower again, it very well probably will be an X Mark or a Toro. Uh, so that's why I throw Toro in there. Uh, I know people that run Toro and have run Toro in the past, and it's been an outstanding mower. My number one is going to be the one that <clears throat> that pretty much started the whole craze in the standards, and that's right. Uh, the right standards, uh, they're in the league all on their own. Uh, their designs are excellent. Uh, how the the engine goes up and down with the deck and stuff. I, I just think it keeps the pressure and stuff off of the the pulleys and the belts and stuff like that. That's why they made the engine go up and down with the with the with the deck uh, to keep everything together when when the deck is is lowered. Uh, I think that's a fantastic design. Uh, right, like I said, they've they've built the the standard and made it is into what it is today. And uh, I think standards, guys, are the way of the future. I really do. The thing I don't like about standards is if you have a knee problem or something like that, uh, it's probably not going to be the mower for you. Uh, I, I have noticed, you know, running running the um, the Ferris, if I hit a real hard um, hole or something like that, and it jars real hard. It ha I don't know. It, it, I can feel it in my knees. Uh, and I, I don't have knee problems. So I would imagine if you had a bad knee problem or, you know, something like that, then it probably wouldn't be the mower for you, especially also if you have an ankle problem. Anything in your legs, lower back, if you're having a problem in those extremities whatsoever, it's probably not going to be the mower for you. Uh, you're probably going to want to go the the uh, you know zero turn route. Uh, you know the sit the rider zero turn rider. You're probably going to want to go that route. Uh, but I mean that they're very easy to run. They're easy to manipulate. They're not hard on your hands. I can literally run that thing all day, and it does not bother my wrist, uh, the grip of my hand, my fingers. It doesn't bother any of that on me. Uh, other than that, guys, I mean, as far as the maneuverability of them, they're compact. Most of them are very compact. Um, and there's, I'm going to say this. I'm sure some of you guys are probably asking, where Skag? Guys, I'm going to tell you, in my time of mowing, okay, a Skag has always been up here with me. And the past couple years, I know people personally uh, you know, and watch people right here on YouTube and stuff. Uh, you know, they've had a lot of problems out of their skags and, uh, it's, it's a problem that they need to address. I don't know if they've, they've cleaned it up with the V-Rod too. Uh, but it didn't, didn't have anything to do with the V-Rod. It's the other, the zero turns and stuff. And skag guys is an excellent, excellent mower. Uh, in the past, I don't know what they're doing now that that's make them made them into the the opinion that I have of them now. It's not from personal, it, you know. I I don't haven't had any personal problems with Skag because we don't own Skag. But Skag, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. Two years ago, Skag would have been number one on my list. Okay, maybe not as far as standards go. But as far as, you know, the company, I always have loved Skag. I always thought Skag was number one in my book. Like I always said, if, you know, if I was going to go buy a new mower, it would always be a Skag. And we looked at Skags. We really did. But 
you know, we looked at the Ferris, and the Ferris really appealed to us. It was eye-appealing. You know, the Ferris is a, a pretty decent-looking mower. Uh, you know, and that's that's the first, you know, that's that's a separate cool, kind of cool, you know. But at the same time, you know, it needs to play a part, too. Is the machine, you know, eye-appealing? Is it Does it turn you on? Uh, and if it does, then, you know, that plays a huge part in your decision-making. But at the same time, we've put. I think the I think the Ferris has a little over a hundred hours on it right now. I'm not real sure on that, but I we've put enough hours on it that really I've been able to form an opinion to it. So uh, you know, I, I had my speculations about Ferris. I have for a very long time, but uh, you know, they're not bad mowers. They're really not that bad. Uh, you know, only your mileage may vary on, on the Ferris. So it all depends on operator also, how you treat your equipment. Is it, you know, uh, my, our equipment doesn't look that great, but it is well-maintained. We grease it, we change the oil, we do the whole nine. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't look great. I might not go, we might not go wash it every week or every other day or whatever, because to be honest with you, if we put, if we put, uh, we go clean the Ferris and the X mark. Uh, you know, one or two days of mowing, it's, it looks terrible again. So, but those are my picks, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.